What up, what up, what up, double M's? We back. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> but yet with another video. It's your girl, Mandy. And your boy, Keys. <laughs> and so we got some corn. We have some lobster tails up in here. We got the shrimp on deck, them big tigers. You see them, you see them. And we got some snow crabs in here too. And we got some Dungeness crabs. Snow crab and Dungeness crab. So we gonna uh, say Grayson. Get that what? Munching down. Because this is our what? Only meal of the day. All right. Loving Father, thank you for all your many blessings you bestowed upon us. We ask you to bless this food we're about to receive for the nourishing our body. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. How y'all doing, double M's? I want to get into this lobster tail. All right, so you see, she finna bust, uh, she finna bust the lobster tail down. Cause last time y'all said we ain't get into it, so she gonna <laughs> she busting it down early, yeah, and then I now. I get into mine in a in a little bit. I'm just Ooh, finna. It's so awesome. Crack this sucker open. It got little sharp edges. Mm -mm. But it's so tender. Y'all see me crack a lacking over here? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, juicy juice ain't it, that corn. Oh, this lobster so tender. Mm. Let me just get a piece of this meat out of here first. Oh y'all, look at that lobster meat. Look at it. Mm. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. Woo, woo. Dip it in this butter sauce over here. Mm. Mm. Mm, good. Mm -hmm. Still got my little baby B love sauce. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good y'all some of that. Mm-hmm. Full of that good tender meat. It's fresh too. Mm-hmm. Tender. Mm. You know, like some lean seafood meat. Mm. Y'all, we want more eating this out here. Mm. So tender, mm. y'all. So tender. Eat all day. We had a late late start, y'all. And we got that fresh sweet corn. Baby shut that corn for us. Yep. <laughs> comment. Comment down in the comment section if you shut corn or uh, peel it back. Shut up. He's trying to pick at me, y'all. I said, what you peeling the corn? He said, I'm shucking it. I'm like, what? You know, when you get the corn and it got, you know, the leaves on it. You so peeling that sucker back? You ask me. Peeling it back or what you shuck the corn? Whatever. You trying to pick on me, y'all. Ooh, this crab meat so good. Not crab meat, I'm sorry, lobster. Got to get the other um no pain. Mm-hmm. Come eat it too. Mm-hmm. 
This corn good. Mm. Mm, the other side is corn. For y'all young folk out there, we just heard that uh, that Nas. Young folks, for y'all season hip hop lovers, that Nas is on hit. I love that album. That's what I mean. For y'all music lovers mm -hmm. that love hip hop. Cause some young folks just wanna understand. Depending on when they was born. <laughs> Got them big tiger, baby. Big tiger shrimp. Let's see how cool. There you go. I love some fat lip. Yeah, this a little better. For mm -hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Delish. Take your crab. Mm, that meat just come out, y'all. Look at that. So good. Yeah. No, I'm good. I'm this one. <laughs> like look here to your stuff. <laughs> Ooh, I like to crack that crab and suck it because it had that juice in there. This stuff can get messy, y'all. Real messy. I need to get the other pan. Mm hmm. I'm gonna put these shells in. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, my God, it needs coming out. Juice tastes so good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was so hot today. And um, oh, it's too hot to be out there the other day. It didn't even really rain today. Did it rain? I think no. it sprinkled. Yeah, it just showed a little sprinkle. Mm -hmm. Didn't do much. It's good eats right here. Good eats. Mm -hmm. I can tell when I'm getting full. I get to slow it down. It's corn good. You got Father's Day coming up. What are all the fathers doing? What are all the fathers doing? What are y'all doing for the fathers? That's too, but still, what are the fathers doing? That's what I'm saying. Like, is this is the family taking you out to dinner. What are they doing for you? That's what I'm talking about. I ain't saying what you're doing for yourself. <laughs> Some of y'all, that's what you're going to be doing. Doing something for yourself. Why? Why is that, man? We so on. Hey, shout out to the mothers too that play both roles, you know? Cause they out there too. Yeah, they out there. So showing precedent on the ones that's being fathers. 
We're showing presents on all of them. I think it's a good thing. Yeah, I think it's, I'm, I'm just showing. Indeed. I'm just saying. I know you're just saying, I'm saying. Well, We're saying the same thing, really, to be honest, okay? <laughs> you just saying. <laughs> you just saying. We need to be, we, we, we showing love to the fathers and our fathers. Yeah, that too. I get it. Yeah, the, the ones that are uh, a father. Yeah, not yeah. mother, father. I'm sure at this point. I'm sure that both of y'all, okay? But showing love, yes, both to both of you. Uh, as I'm I talking. know it's Father's Day. Showing love to the father of the home. The father of the home. If there's a father in the home, that's what I'm just saying. Yeah, Some people I, ain't got one. Yeah, we know that. But those that do have them. We get it, but I'm just saying to everybody, like, why are you trying to argue with me about this? You know I'm what I'm saying, y'all? He's trying to argue with me. He's trying to debate trying to, this. He's trying to debate this. Trying to make he don't want me of, showing no love to the women. You know, come on, get out of here with that dude. Did I say that? No. You were saying that was no, good enough. No, I, I'm just saying, hey, take some time out for, you take time for the ones that are mothers. You, know, you didn't say. Oh, we didn't mention oh, oh, we didn't mention the, 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 the men. <laughs> The men in the house now we get to the point. See. Okay, now we get to the point. Okay, I get what you're saying mm -hmm. now. <laughs> and, uh, we did say Happy Mother's Day out there to the mothers. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Y'all see what I go through? <laughs> Give me some sugar back there. Yes, dear. <laughs> I knew that was coming next. Mm. Yes, dear. His sarcasm, y'all. Don't be mad at me. All this, all this camera talk. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. What's camera talk? We being ourselves. What's, what's going on with the camera now? <laughs> That could be real. You know you get like this. It's as true fashion you. Ugh. Yeah, it's me. Who you is? <laughs> who are you? Oh, who am I? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. Now here come the real self. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's, uh, get, let's get into it then. <laughs> that's what you want to do, but I, I that's don't what you want to do. That's what you want to do. Don't test me. Hmm. Your messy self. Got all my meat, y'all. I got a big old chunk of it right here. Let me show y'all. It's good, 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 Full of meat. Woo! I'm getting full, y'all. He ain't gonna eat all this stuff. Put that pot like mine. What? Your appetite is like mine. You don't eat a lot? You eat a lot? You don't. <laughs> he over there trying. Yeah, I see him trying. No, I don't eat this shit like that. <laughs> you don't eat it like that? Nobody snow crabs are hit and miss. Sometimes you wanna come out. Sometimes you don't lick that butt off that thing though. <laughs> you know. 
no more eating seafood because you know it's good for people with low iron anyway and i do have that that problem like my iron get real low so this crab meat is good good for me Juice up that crab and that butter sauce, baby. Delish, delish. And this crab meat just so good. Listen, y'all, we ain't really talking about nothing. We apologize for that. But we'll be trying to get it in. We hunger. Mm. Let me just slid out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. The bomb. Mm. Come to me. Snow crabs, the meat so like thin like sometimes that I can eat so much of it. And a little um the little legs. Meat too. It's good. Dungeness. I love Dungeness crab. We used to do seafood boils all the time with Dungeness crab and invite friends over. Shoulder bomb. Shoulder bomb. We have the Moscato wine. The liquor on deck. The crabs. Use a plan. It's so much fun. It's been a long time since we did that. Y'all, if I eat this, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be done, done, done for. I just took it my fingers out because I want to get all that butter sauce. I pour butter on top of these crabs and we put a little sauce on the side to eat it with. And it's so delish, isn't it, baby? Mm -hmm. So the dungeon has got a sulfur shell. You got a sulfur? My stomach, like, <laughs> this ain't like, um, uh, this ain't like Bila. <laughs> yeah, this little baby crab. Let's see you eat it on camera. Eating off camera. Mm. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. He got that lots of tail over here too. I ate half of it. I'm gonna finish it up. It's so tender, y'all. I'm gonna bust it. I'm gonna bust this one down in a few minutes. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna pour that butter sauce on it. Jesus. I'm getting full. I'm gonna leave the stuff alone. I can't stand for my fingers and be like sticky and messy. Tiger shrimp, maybe like how much? $18 at um Sam's Club for a bag? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got like two bags, y'all. We only cut one bag this time because we we'll eat all the shrimp like that. And hubby ain't too fond of um boiled shrimp. Mm -mm. <laughs> he like his fried. So one day making making a waffle with fried shrimp and some spicy. Syrup. That's drunk. That's drunk. Mm -hmm. Let me get my tea. There you go. We saw ten or twenty shrimp. We could. I know y'all keep seeing me leave off the camera because I'm dipping over that salt. Woo! And it's kind of spicy. What's y'all plans for the weekend? I know some of y'all went out and seen that movie. What movie? What? The little movie, Superfly. Um, that didn't come out this weekend, right? Yeah. Everybody gonna be. I didn't even know that. Why you say that? Then? Running out to see it. We could went to see it. It's gonna be crowded. Friday nights are really crowded, baby. That's when the movies usually premiere. Saturday is the second night. <clears throat> and besides, we just go early in the day anyway. Mm -hmm. We don't go see movies late like that no more. We used to, y'all, but mm -hmm. some of the people that be going to the movies at night just be so like loud and they trying to do more talking than the movie doing. I'm just, <laughs> uh uh. Then. We went to the movies one time. What movie was we going to see that night? We went to the counter. We got popcorn. I got me a um, Starbucks coffee at the movies. And then we got into the movie theater. What was we going to see that day? What was that movie? Man. Oh, my mama. I remember. I don't remember either what movie it was we going to see, but we ended up seeing the movie like really, really late. I got a later, later, later date. Cause we got to the movies and there was this young black couple and they were sitting in our assigned seats because at the movie theaters you know they have like the recliners now the relaxation chairs they call them whatever where you can recline back and kick back you know do your thing in the movies whatever so now the movies have gotten more expensive because you're getting these special chairs you get to sit in 
whatever. Anyway, um, they sit in our seats. And, you know, we was telling old boy these are seats. And he was kind of like, man, like, man, fuck them. Like, that's what he mama to his girl, you know. And we stand up there. We got the tickets with our name, hmm. with, you know, with our, with our, basically our assigned seating, like what letter, what row, what numbers we're sitting in. So I'm sitting there, I'm standing there like, really? Like, really, dude? Oh. So hubby goes and be small because hubby's already tight because you t you talking out of, you talking out of, um, out of the side of your face and there was no need for that. All we said was that, hey, you know, we believe you guys are sitting in our seats because our tickets say we're supposed to be, I think it was E1 and 2 or something like that. And he was like, man, fuck them. Excuse my language, everybody. And, mm-mm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Hubby wasn't having it. Hubby reached over the old boy. <laughs> um, <laughs> everything, it took everything. <laughs> Reach out and touch somebody's hand. <laughs> Make this world a better place. <laughs> if you can <laughs> Oh my God, that boy got scared. That boy got scared. <laughs> well, it's the A, A partner. <laughs> Don't need for all that. You in our seats. <laughs> that was so crazy. And so we, you know what, we were so hot and so mad. It was like, we're going to be enjoying the movie like this. You know what I'm saying? You can't enjoy the movie because now I'm in a different headspace. So we just was like, you know what? We told the people, forget it. We left. We got we got free tickets anyway to the movie, so that was even a plus. Mm -hmm. And so the tickets ended up being free. So really, while he was while he was trying to get an attitude with us about you know the seats, we ended up getting the free tickets. So hey, you blessed us anyway, dude. <laughs> we got free passes to go to the movies and see what we want to see the next time. So we was like, we'll see a movie whenever we see it. So. Yeah, but that was like crazy. So we just started and, going to movies. And night. our money back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So free tickets saying. and our money back. Yep. And our money back. So free tickets and our money back. So it was like a win-win for us. And um, we were just like, you know what? Let's go to the movies during the daytime. Like, you know, if it's nighttime, we go to the movies, it's probably going to be seeing something like A Wrinkle in Time, you know? <laughs> something that ain't going to invoke no goddamn foolishness. You know what I'm saying? A drama. We got time for all that. We got time for that. Mm -mm. Nah. And then we went to see Den of Thieves. That one movie we went to see that with 50 Cent. And um, I was kind of mad because 50 Cent wasn't really in the movie like that. He got killed right in the what? First half. <laughs> I think it was the really showcase Ice Cube's son. Oh, yeah. That's why Ice Cube's son was doing that. I can't wait for part two, though. I hope they do a part two to that movie because that was like the bomb. How he ended up in London like that? Yeah. I'm full, y'all can't eat no more. I'm try. That's why I've been sitting here chewing this um shrimp for ever and ever and ever. Mm. But I'm doing good with my weight loss. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing really, really good. Originally started at 290. Your girl is now 215. So I'm really happy about that. So the way it's coming off, mm, yeah. So, fifteen more pounds will be under the tools. What it do? What it do? What it do? <laughs> yeah. yeah. And your boy on the road to one seventy. So I'm gonna originally say I started off with two, two oh seven. Mm-hmm. And what are you right so, now? 197. Mm hmm Hubby know how to drop that weight really fast. That made me to, so jealous. Uh, he be dropping that weight like it's uh, nothing. To 197. To 190. Now I'm at 180, 188. Mm. So. He always dropped that weight pretty fast. Yeah, you do, babe. Even when you do those um, bodybuilding competitions and um, stuff like that, you be, you be real dedicated and you be real disciplined. 
I'm talking about like black coffee, a uh, tuna packet, an apple. <laughs> Lord of mercy. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I can do the um, tuna with the pico de gallo, though. If I can put, like, dress it up a little bit, I can eat the tuna out of the packets like that. But just plain tuna with nothing? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Miss me with that, y'all. <laughs> I know we're supposed to be healthy, good for you that way, but I need to put something on it. Something got to spruce it up a little bit. Just a little bit for me to eat it. I'm so tired. Corn. Get a cup of them. Yeah, you cover them shrimp. Get a cup of them shrimp, shrimp, shrimp. I'm gonna kill this stuff for y'all. I'm gonna kill. I ain't ate. I haven't eaten. Yeah, he haven't eaten. See me, I'm just like I can't eat that much. And then it takes a while for like food to digest. And then you have to wait 30 minutes in between eating and drinking. So like if you eat now, like I can't eat. I can't drink number 30 minutes, and I'm thirsty right now, so I'm not eating no more because I'm ready to drink something. Sorry. Shoot. Sure. Come for me, come for me, come for me. <laughs> I don't care. Mm -mm. Fool. Eyes, fool. Yep, this right here up next. Mm -hmm, that lobster tail, get into it. It's good too. It's goody good. As B Love said, goody good. <laughs> oh, that's not that much left. No, it's not that much. So we didn't really cook a whole lot of the seafood this time. But he was like, you know, we want to finish it for you guys. Um, hubby wanted all that corn because the corn was fresh and it was on sale. So he was like, I got to get this. And the yeah. sweet corn was really good. I got to give it to him. The sweet corn was good like he said it was going to be. They had five corn for, it wasn't shucked yet, but five corn for $2. Mm -hmm. Man, I could. Couldn't beat that. Had to jump on it. Mm-mm. It ain't nothing now. Let me eat the other side. Yeah. Yeah, so. Mm, yeah, we be just, um, we wanted to do a seafood mukbang because we hadn't done one since the last one. And we was like, you know what? We need to do one. We felt like seafood this weekend, you know? Mm -hmm. We don't eat it all the time. So when we do eat it, it's always delightful and so good. So we was cool with that. We wish that there was a place around. Well, there is a place around here that sells the seafood. Or maybe one day we'll go to the shrimp man and get some seafood and then do a review on his food. Mm -hmm. I think that'd be good. He, he made some really good seafood. And tea seafood, too. My cousin, she does seafood here in Orlando, too. Sells the seafood plates and stuff like that. So I need to definitely check her out and um, make some videos promoting her um, seafood because her stuff be looking so good on Instagram. Tea seafood, man. Delish. Girl, know she can cook. The girl should have been a chef, for real. Some people just have a natural talent. Like you know what they were supposed, they, they, what they were born to do. You know, without a shadow of a doubt, this person was born to do this. Because I'm telling you, some people out here that's so talented. It's like wow, like wow, blow your mind. It's amazing what we can do as a people. Lord have mercy. You over here dropping crab, busting them down. But sit down then. I'm so tired, so sleepy. That too. I ain't been asleep. Yeah, hubby got off this morning, y'all, and like he just. I've been. Yeah, well, he, he been asleep. So it's been what? More than 24 Put hours. It down. Now. Put it down. It's been <laughs> more than 24 hours now. Get that, yeah, get that lobster, baby. Get that lobster tail. Wanna cut that back? Cut the back on it. Let me see. Messy. Yeah, it gets messy to eat seafood, but I don't care. It's good. The lobster's good too. It's real tender. I kept the cooking time between eight and twelve minutes, trying to cook it too much just to kind of, you know, make it tender, but make sure it's cooked. Mm. Mm -hmm. So good. So it don't. Right, so it don't be tough. Them. Yeah, rubbery tough. I don't like that. When lots of stuff taste something, you know, you chewing and you feel like you chewing bubble gum. Mm -mm. I'm good. Mm -mm. That's why I made sure I stayed in there and watched it. Cause I'm like, I don't want to get distracted with the TV or get distracted with looking at my phone. And then the stuff is all messed up. 
corn on deck. I got enough corn. But it was so good. These shrimp so big. I love these tiger shrimp. They so big and good. Them lobster look that's so pretty before they got cooked. Mm -hmm. And they be so big. We saw one in the um seafood market, man. Man, we gonna get that. That joker was Huge. they had big. That thing was colossal. Yeah, I mean, I think it was like forty bucks for it just by itself. Mm -hmm. For that one big lobster sale. It was so big. It was colossal big, y'all, for sure. We should have took a picture of that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, dang, I seen a lot of that did before. Yeah, kind of like um, what people be um doing those moot balls with them big, big old crab mm -hmm. and big old lobster. So that was one of the things. Like, dang. About to kill me over here. Let me help you out. Let me help you out. <laughs> That lobster tail doing the most. Here you go. It's coming off now. Because it's so tender. I'm going to dip it in that sauce. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I ate half of mine, y'all. I can't eat it all, but I ate half of it. And um, I ate some of the shrimp, and I had some of these little legs, these little claws. Mm. I'm ready for something to drink now, but I'm going to wait my 30 minutes to drink something. I think I'm going to have something to drink. I do got some Moscato in there. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Yeah. When you when you've had this uh, surgery and you try to drink alcohol, my beer won't get, let me be great. You get lit too fast, so I try not to do that. Try not to do that unless I'm just like a little sponge. Yep, and this is how it feels too when you're putting the paper towel on it. So y'all like mm. Kanye dropped Daytona with your boy Pusha T. Then he came through with the Yay album. Now he coming through with the Nas album. Dang Tay on the Taylor coming through next, I believe. And who else he got coming through? Is John Legend doing anything? Like they ain't good music. Just dropping them hits, baby. Dropping jewels after jewels on them. Mm-mm. And then Jay-Z and Beyonce with a little new album. I ain't surprised at Jay-Z and Beyonce, though, because they on tour right now, so it's only, it only makes sense to drop a new album while you're on tour. Get everybody hyped. And then what they had in the things of uh, video got leaked, that's only because they on tour. They want y'all to come see that stuff they promote. They oh, they! Tour. I think they selling those pictures on tour, though. Those, like, you get a picture book of them, like them naked photos. <laughs> I don't know. That's what I was. That's what I heard on. Um, I, who was I watching? I was watching. Um, what's her name? Lovely T. Lovely T. I believe that she has a um, uh, YouTube blog where she goes on there. She blog where she talks about different things. The one that say take a look. Oh, not her. You see my Ashton Janae. Oh. Ashton Janae. I think it's. I don't know. How to say her name either. But I like her too. Lo um, love for the juice. I love that um, blog too. But no, not her. Lovely the, tea. The one that says some stuff about the tea. Yeah, the one that we talking about the tea all the time, honey. Mm. 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 This little membrane. Yeah, I have to take that membrane off. Because it won't let me. <laughs> You guys, I'm texting my brother back. He just been talking about, you know, 
he talk about um we were talking about he was saying that drake and beyonce them how they go platinum they first week or whatever when they come out with the album whatever yeah because of their support their, their fan base and their support and i get all that and i agree they do because they're more like a pop artist in a sense even though drake raps i still see him as pop too you know what i'm saying no, not to discredit him rapping on his rap skills, but I just see him as pop. And I was just saying that, yeah, Kanye um, album was number one as well. But he was saying, yeah, but it didn't go platinum. Yeah, but he eventually it will go platinum. Because if you already came out, you're already at 200 and some thousand when they're reporting the news a day or two within your album coming out. It's definitely going to get to where you're going to go platinum. I mean, the man got eight number one albums, regardless of what he said in the media, regardless of whatever. I'm just talking about the facts here. You know what I'm saying? And that's not in all the states. That's yeah. just probably in... A couple of states. And that's probably what streaming, though. They were talking about the streaming numbers when they was referring to these numbers originally. That's what I took from it. They were saying like 125,000 were from streams or so forth, and then the other one was from people buying the album. But that was only within a couple of days of it actually dropping. Like, I don't think it had even been three days yet when that was reported yeah. on, on a blog. Yeah, because um, everybody get it different times and states. I'm not going to get it at the same time. That's correct. No, I'm not saying like get the album at the same time. I know it went out everywhere to, for everybody on the streaming sites. What I'm saying uh, is, is that, no. yeah, what I'm saying is, is that even though Drake and Beyonce fans will go out there and buy their album just as fast and they'll, they'll go platinum, I'm saying other artists will go platinum too. It may take them a little longer than Drake and Beyonce because they're more pop. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And we know that the kids today love pop. You know what I'm saying? Conscious rap like J. Cole and... Um, the Kendrick Lamars and all them, they may go platinum too, and they may not sell as much as Drake the first week. I'm not saying they haven't or they couldn't, but I'm saying they may not. But at the end of the day, they still will get to where he's at as far as sales go. You know what I'm saying? Like they have a big fan base too. That's what I was saying. Yeah. Like I was trying to explain to David that my brother David, he's been texting me. So, you know, young people, honey, they love Drake. <laughs> I'm a Drake fan. I like Drake too, but you know, I, I I still like a certain type of hip hop music. You know what I'm saying? I like things that speak to my mind, to my intellect. Like I love Nas for that. So, you know, I don't care if Nas don't sell as much as Jay Z and Beyonce. If he don't do as much numbers as Drake, I ain't listening to Nas for the numbers he do. I'm listening to Nas for what he's saying. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm listening to Kanye to hear what Kanye is saying and to hear what Kanye is going through and what is he talking about and where is he taking me with this song. You know what I mean? Like, that's my thing. I don't know. I guess people listen to music for different reasons, but I don't care about sales and all that stuff. I don't care about who's popular, who's on, who's on popping out there, who's making the most sales and who's, you know, mm, that kind of stuff don't even amuse me. It really don't. Yeah. Like, you know, they say Push T. Oh, Push T ain't no bigger artist than Drake. We know that. <laughs> Pusha T knows that. <laughs> but it still doesn't take away from Pusha T's skill set yeah. as a yeah. rapper. This song, you can't, a, yeah. A lyrical artist. Yeah, being a lyricist, exactly. you can't take that from him. Say what you will, but hey, the man is who he is, and the man has a skill set. I can't take it from him. And I like the way he raps. And I still love the song Infrared, regardless of what um, Duffy Freestyle did. Adidon, <laughs> Adidon, whatever it's called. <laughs> hey, push it was pushing back. I like that kind of stuff. I love it. I love the music. I love the lyrics. I love both of the songs, you know? I love what Drake was saying. I'm like, Drake coming with it. I like what Pusha was saying. You know, you can like you can like both sides, both um, um, artists, and, and still respect the fact that one is more lyrical than the other to you. That's just me. Hmm. My sister got mad, oh y'all. She got mad. I don't even know who Push T is. Push T only did one song. I'm your pusher. I was like, girl. <laughs> Listen, if nobody knew your age, you 19 for real, girl. Everybody know you a genie bug. <laughs> I don't know who Push T is. Okay, because you 19 years old. <laughs> And you saw on that drink, you don't know, you don't know nothing else. Drake and Nicki and whoever else you listen to out there, little Yachty and whoever else. What's up, you little young boys out there that be doing anything? Pookie Raton. <laughs> <laughs> With big <laughs> tattoos yeah, on that. <laughs> With big nah, tattoos Pookie on it. Not Pookie Raton. Uh -huh. On their face. Little Yahoo. <laughs> little Yahoo, come on now, stop. <laughs> 
stop now. <laughs> Cap- I like the little young artist. I do. I like the little young artist. And she a Migos fan. You Caprice, know. Caprice on uh, Figaro. I need it. <laughs> Capri Sun Figaro. <laughs> Why are you doing on people like that, man? That's, that's, that's like their that? they names. That's what Why they do. Like that? Little Six Nine. <laughs> hey, she 19 though, y'all. So she don't know no better. Huh? I told her, I said, girl, you don't know no better. Uh, Drake came out with a freestyle. He killed Pusha T. Mm-mm-mm. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> See, when you grown for real, your mind be on so many other things. Like, he just be, you know, you laugh and stuff like that. But she young. I love it. It's cute. <laughs> it's cute. You playing around. You hungry for real. You still eating. <laughs> I thought for sure you was going to be done. I guess she said, no, I'm not. I'm still, I'm still hungry. Not me. Hmm. And I try not to get, I don't try to eat too much to where I make like extremely full. I don't like feeling like that. So I don't do that. I eat just enough to where I know I'm satisfied and I'm in a good place that way. Even if I was to lay down right now, it wouldn't be no pressure on me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't like to eat a whole lot. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like just pushing myself past them where I feel like I want to vomit or something. You know what I mean? Because you got some people they can't get with the fact that their stomach is smaller, but their brain is still thinking, I want to eat like I used to eat. Mm-mm. I don't think like that. Mm-mm. I tones it down quick. No. Mm. Yeah, it felt like I ain't ate nothing. Mm. Wow. I'm so tired, y'all. That's why I'm just over here rambling, talking about different stuff. Mm -hmm. Because I'm so tired. Tired, boss. Y'all, this video been going for almost an hour. We finna sign out on y'all. Yeah, we signing out. 51 minutes. Yeah, Double M. I'm still eating. He's still eating now. You know, I'll show y'all a picture of the end results because he'll be done soon. Ain't that many left in here. It's ain't but one corn. One corn. Crab legs. Two. What, three left? Yeah, three left. Yeah, three left. Three left. That's, it. That's, they, it. That's they, it. That's it. That's they it. They getting done for. The lobster's done. He ate all of them. He ate about five shrimp in here. One, two, three, four. Well, six. Six shrimp left in here. And that's it. Them big tiger tigers. Them big tiger tigers. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. The videos. Videos, videos, videos. Comment. Hit that notification bell. Yeah, hit it for real now. Stop playing. I can't stand people like, oh, I don't get no notifications on your videos. Hit that bell, girl. Hit that bell, boy. Don't be scared. You can ring that bell. That's right. Sound the alarm. I'll be damned if I see another on your arm. <laughs> I'm tired. Yep. Gonna eat this, all of this, and have me an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> You're like a little kid. Oh my gosh.